What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using Squidward from Spongebob. Not really, but kind of. We got Upside Down Squid Malamar team for ranked regulation F. Really cool Pokemon, a Pokemon that I actually really like, and a Pokemon that is actually really strong in regulation F. It has access to the ability contrary, so any stat changes that go down now go up, and anything that goes up now goes down. Makes for a really cool Pokemon and really cool kind of synergy you can rock with it. And that's why we're rocking Murkrow today. Murkrow, great support Pokemon that learns Tailwind for Speed Control, but it also learns Feather Dance, a move that normally drops the opposing Pokemon's attack stat by minus two. But if we use it on our Malamar today, it will actually get a plus two attack boost. Really cool combo there. Cannot wait to showcase it off. But Malamar is holding the Assault Vest, making it pretty bulky with Psycho Cut and Throat Chop for two stab hitting moves. It also has Rock Slide and it has Superpower with the Fighting Terror type. Superpower also lowers attack and defense by minus one stage, but since we have Contrary, it's actually going to boost Malamar stats by one stage. Pretty cool. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon, get it stat boosted, and hopefully just pick up some big time KOs. Like I mentioned, we got Murkrow for Speed Control and a little bit of Feather Dance combo with Malamar, but the team also features Incineroar and Ogre Pond. Incineroar, great for fake outs, great for intimidates, great for party shots, and it can do damage at the same time. Ogre Pond's good for a little bit of support and some big time physical attack damage. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane and Metagross. Metagross, really, really solid, especially with the Choice Band as item. Making him hit like a truck, we need first turn priority. It's got us covered on that as well, because it does have Bullet Punch. And it can also break screens with Psychic Fangs. Absolutely love that. Fluttermane, final Pokemon, great special attacker. Really can't go wrong with it with Booster Energy and Protosynthesis. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with Malamar. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Politoed and Archlude on rain team. We also have Grimmsnarl for screens, also with Suicune, and then who else we got? Urshifu and Ogre Pond for big time attackers. Definitely big time attackers. I like my Ogre Pond here. Gonna be super effective onto their Ogre Pond, onto their Politoed, onto their Suicune. That's something I really like. I also like Metagross. I think Metagross is a pretty solid Pokemon, can break screens, can do some big damage at the same time. I also like Malamar, I do like um, Murkrow as well, but a Pokemon that I'm more scared of than anything is going to be that Archaluda, who I think they're going to bring. But I definitely think they're going to bring. So you know what, I'm going to go Murkrow. I'm also going to go in with Malamar, try to get this Pokemon set up because I do like the damage output it can actually do. And then on top of that, a Pokemon that I want to bring is probably Ogre Pond and Metagross, right? The only thing I'm scared of is going to be Archaludon. But if I get my Malamar set up, Malamar can do some work on the Archaludon, which I like. Which I like. But at the same time, I kind of want Fluttermane here. Fluttermane's just solid. But you know what? Screw it. This is a Malamar video. Let's try to showcase Malamar here in match number one. But if you guys do enjoy today's video at any time, make sure you like it up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. Over 50% of my viewers are not subscribers. So if that's one of you guys, definitely consider subscribing and join the Jeans community. But let's see who they end up leading here. Would love to know. It's going to be Suicune and Grimstone. So, screen's potentially set up. I don't mind our lead here. I actually kind of like it a lot. And I think we're just going to set up a Feather Dance here. Just to go plus two. And just start attacking early. And maybe just start throwing Psycho Cuts. Or Throw Chops. Either or kind of works here. I think I'm just going to go for a Psycho Cut here into the Suicune. And just kind of keep going from there. They might set up Tailwind. They might go Tailwind screens this turn. Which I really wouldn't mind. At this point, I get a free plus two on the attack boost from Almar, and then I could just set up Tailwind next turn. And I can always have back end, back end, what's it called? Back end Metagross come and break the screens. But I set up a light screen, and he ends up going for a snarl, which is totally fine. Both of my Pokemon are physical attacking. So this is, again, totally fine. And I drop a Psycho Cut, doing some big time damage on the Suicune. Beautiful. So I could set up a Tailwind here. Not a bad play for us. Um, I could go another plus two on the on the uh the board here but i'm thinking of just going for maybe like a superpower here and boosting my defense at the same time attack and defense i like it i like it considering spear break my fly through here but i am tailwind i'm surprised they didn't set up the reflect turn one and they're probably going for a spear break so superpower comes out here chaos is suicune i get that attack boost alongside with a defense boost which is really nice for me and they still haven't set up the reflect, which I love. You go for a spear break here. Yeah, spear break gonna come in hot here with that defense boost. Gonna help us out a little bit. 
and I get a special attack boost. <laughs> cool, so Malmar already showcasing the power of Contrary with it right now. And now they go into Polytone. So now they're sitting here with Polytone. This is where it kind of gets a little weird, right? It's like they don't have Reflect up. And my Malmar's pretty boosted. <laughs> like, look at that. Defense plus one, attack plus three, special attack plus two. I might as well go plus five with this and try to look to KO the Polytone, right? With this nice, lovely throat chunk. Get a little bit of stab action going on here. I haven't set up the Reflect yet, so I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. The only problem I would have would be if Polytoad protects like it just did there and Spirit Break KOs. Alright, so we're hoping for one more turn. We're hoping for a little soak up. We're hoping for a little soak up. I don't think you could soak this up. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Dang, that could have been a powerful turn we got out there. That could have been a real solid turn for us. There's a Spirit Break. Is that going to KO me? No, it doesn't. Malamar, I love you. Big dog Malamar. Big dog Malamar. Malamar sitting here, boosts it out of its mind. Um, I can't taunt you. I could heart swap. Save you. But how many turns are left in Tailwind is the real question. Two. I could swap you. Who do they have in the back end? I don't know. A lot of them can't really take this big time throw chop. I could go plus six. Um, I think I just maybe just foul play. I guess we'll do some damage here. But from here, yeah, Throat Chop's your best bet. So I'll go into Throat Chop into Polytoad slot. Polytoad. Mmm, lands a double protect. Mmm. Ah, come on, man. Double protect, really? Really? Not cool. Not cool. Man. You shouldn't even be allowed to do that. Shouldn't even be an extra chance. That's so lame. It's just so lame. It's so lame how, you, how, how I don't get off that turn. My Mountain Mars soaks that severe break. I do everything in my willpower to get off one more turn. And you just land a double protect and your Polytoad stares at me like that. Unbelievable. 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 But now it's not a bad turn for us to bring out Ogre Pond. I'd rather save our choice band Pokemon. And kind of go from there. But they do have Terra still. Just like us. They still have Terra. They could hard swap here. They did give us the rain, which is great. Um... I could start feather dancing other Pokemon at the moment, though. But I can't do it with the Grimstone because it's part dark. So you know what? Screw it. We should double down the Polytoad slot. We're going to make sure this thing dies out. And now they finally set up the Reflect. That's not a big deal. And I'll set up another Tailwind next turn. Woodhammer's still KOing. Beautiful. Get on out of here. They pick up a KO there. I will set up our final Tailwind this next turn. And of course, yo, I just like... If they didn't land at the whole protect, we would have been sitting in such a better position than we are. Even though we're sitting in, in not a bad position. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Our position is pretty solid. But now they bring out Arch Ludon. And this is where I have a problem. This is this is the problem. This Pokemon right here. I don't really have too much to actually KO it. I just don't. I could Feather Dance it. But it just wouldn't do anything. I could Taunt it. This is just... It's tough. It's tough. I mean, I could do that. I can go Ivy Cudgel into this slot. I could Terrasalize, put my mask on, but I, don't, I just don't know what, I, what I'm going to do here. Arch Ludon's just such a big threat, and that's, that's kind of why I needed Malamar, and that's why I kind of wanted to bring in Fluttermane in the beginning, but they are going to end up Terrasalizing. We're hoping that's Arch Ludon. And I think I, maybe I should have Tailwind this turn, but yeah, it is going to be Arch Ludon with the Terror Titan, so that could help us out. That could help us out here. They do have their screens up. He's just gonna thunder wave me, of course. That's actually just such a solid turn. So I'm gonna die out here to Electro Shot. Electro Shot gonna rip into me. Foul play's gonna fly. Do about negative five, and you're gonna get stabbed in the boost. Yeah, this one. Real tough, boys. Real tough. Especially with that thunder wave. I would love to hit this uh, Grimstone for one turn. But maybe they go after Murkrow. Probably not, right? Why else would they paralyze Murkrow? Fine. But yeah, I knew Archer Ludon was going to be a problem here. Malamar plays pretty solid here. Kind of gets screwed over by that double protect. But it's all good. It's all good. I get to bring out my boy here, Metagross. With the choice ban. With the choice ban. Let's not forget it. Maybe I should have set up. I should have set up a Tailwind that turn like I said I was going to do. I should have. That should have been my pike Tailwind. Because if we Tailwind, we still probably can hit that Grimstarl. 
But from here, we're just going to set up the Tailwind and... Bit to Rasslize in the Fairy, but you have Steel moves. That, that's, that's, that's the problem. That's the problem. You have Steel moves. I think we just Meteor Mash and look to KO this thing. But at the same time, then I'm just not very effective onto that slot and it's just getting real ugly. It's just a mess here. It's just a mess. We're definitely losing this match. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind we're losing this match, but still so solid match all around. That's why I needed my Malomar. I even said it. So they thunder wave my my Metagross here. Match number one, gonna go to our opponent. Archer Ludon's just been giving me so many problems on the rank ladder. It's absurd. Another Electro Shot flying. This thing's just boosting special attack. No problem. He's just gonna take out my Murkrow here. Maybe we KO the Grimstar. I think we KO Grimstar through the Reflect. Considering I am choice ban. And I hit really, really hard. And wow. That's absurd amount of damage. Meteor Mash leaves it on one just, just as I wanted to. And the one HP bandit comes through. But that's gonna be game. I'm just gonna run this one. We do not have enough attack power to finish off both these Pokemon. Hopping into our second match for today's video. Looking for our first victory. We are sitting at 0-1. Would love to use Malamar a bit more here and get rocking out with this Pokemon. And I think I'm going to end up leading him. Malamar and Murkrow yet again. Just such a solid lead. Hopefully we get this set up and we hopefully nobody lands double protects in this match. So I'm going to go into both of them. They got some cool Pokemon with Iron Hands alongside with Lamora. They also have Frigoraph to stop first turn priority. But a Pokemon that I'm also going to like here is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just so solid all around. Hits like a truck. Cannot go wrong with it. Same thing with Metagross. I think we're going to bring in Metagross just for that Fluttermane. Like, Fluttermane is just such a big threat. If I can go into him and kind of get some work done onto it, I like it. I definitely like it. So those are going to be the four that I bring. Let's lock it in. Let's look for our first win here in today's video. As we're sitting on one, right? I would not like to go into that third and final battle with a 0-2 record. That could just be tough. That could just be tough. Plus, I want to use Malmar a little bit better here. It did kind of rip up in match number one. Just wish I could have used it a little bit more and got off one more attack just to do some big time damage because at that point i was like plus five so i was just ripping through pokemon i was just ready to rip through pokemon let's see who they end up leading here. let's see their lead you got cooking suicune and Fluttermane. so suicune Fluttermane come out here eh. i don't like Fluttermane at all man let's be honest here i don't like Fluttermane at all um he's gonna protosynthesis and boost up what's that that's the question special attacks in so, from here, this is where things get a little odd, right? We do have Psycho Cut, which isn't bad. But, this thing hits hard. This thing's going to hit me hard. I might have to hard swap into Metagross here, which would probably be my best bet. Just go Metagross and set up a Tailwind at the same time. I think that's our best bet. They might go Tailwind for Tailwind for me here. But at the same time, they might Terrasalize uh, Watermain here. And this thing is just going to hit like a truck. So I had to swap here. And we end up protecting. Okay, I don't mind that turn. I don't mind that. So I get Malamar late game. I think we just go Tailwind for Tailwind. I'm super surprised they just dropped the protect there, right? They end up snarling, which is not too bad for me. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind the snarl. You get a crit on my Murkrow. You drop my special attack. And I'm fine. So I'd go into Bullet Punch here. Who could they swap into potentially? Because there's no way they stay in here with Fluttermane, correct? Unless they're just going to drop a Shadow Ball. I think I just try to throw a Meteor Mash in that slot, right? Meteor Mash and maybe just taunt this thing so we can't set up a Tailwind. You have Inner Focus. What am I doing? Actually, Inner Focus doesn't affect that. So they do end up swapping a Fluttermane, and they're going to go into Frigraph. So Frigraph comes out here. I don't mind Frigraph out here. And yeah, Inner Focus does. Oh no, Armor Tail does. My, my fault. Armor Tail's helping him out tremendously. And Meteor Mash still doing a nice chunk of damage. Half in that HP. Of course, you got the Citrus Berry. And now we might have to double down the Freak Graph, depending on what Suicune does here. The Suicune's just gonna go for a Scald. Please do not burn me. Please. Please, RNG. Come on, man. Really? I had to throw my controller in the air for that one. Really? Really? We get burned there. Lovely. So now I'm just gonna double down in Freak Graph. Try to KO that thing. We don't really want to setting up a trick room while we have Tailwind out on the field. That hurts the soul, man. A burn? Really? Brutal. It's brutal out here. It's brutal for me today. So a nice, lovely burn. Now we got to deal with that. Foul play is going to get cooking. Dealing some nice damage. We like that, Murkrow. We like a nice, big, big time foul play play. 
Meteor Mash still doing enough damage. We like that a lot. So Fluttermane, little bit of a threat here. Um, Suicune now gets off the Tailwind. Now they got some speed cooking. So from here, they'll probably go back into Fluttermane, right? No, they're going to Ogie. Ogre Pond comes out here. We have to just start foul playing that thing. I could hard swap him, but Metagross is really just doing nothing. He's really just doing nothing. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go for a foul play. I'm just going to dump it out in the Ogre Pond slot. I think he's going to put on the mask here, right? I think he puts on the mask. So I still have Terra, which is good. Um, Malmar's not looking too hot here in this, this battle right here. And Cinder and Fluttermane is just chilling in the back end. But he's going to drop an Ivy Cudgel, and that's going to KO me all day. So yeah, I knew he was dead. I don't think that Suicune can KO my Murkrow even with an Ice Beam. And no, he's going to go for Scald regardless. And watch, this is going to burn me, and I'm going to be super upset. You got a crit. What is up with this Suicune? What is up with this Suicune? The Suicune is just killing it but with RNG. It is killing it with RNG. How you got a crit and a burn? And a burn the turn before. It's absurd. Tailwind's now gone. We're going to have to set that up. Um, I could go into Malamar now. Not a bad turn for us to do that. Um, yeah, it just saved my Fluttermane. Probably saved my Terra Fluttermane. Right? For their Fluttermane. Yeah, we, we Fluttermane's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a problem. So, I'm going to go into my Malamar here. I think that's a decent turn. As long as they don't Scald Burn me again. I think that's a decent turn. And I could just Feather Dance, right? I could actually go in the Rock Slide here and just Feather Dance him. Put a minus two. Not bad turn there. Minus two on the U would be solid. And then maybe set up a Tailwind next turn. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. We're doing that. Yep, because they're putting on the mask. I got to drop this thing minus two. I need to save our Terra for Fluttermane if we want to win this match. And actually, we'll only drop it to minus one, though. And he'll probably get crits regardless, so I don't, this is going to annoy me, right? So he's going to go plus one. We're going we're gonna to be like, hey, yo, settle down. And make this thing calm down a little bit. We're going to drop a nice lovely Feather Dance into that. Settle down. <laughs> we're going to drop it to minus one. Ivy Cudgel flying through here. Malmar, you should soak this. You, you better not crit me. Awesome, Malmar. That's big time. Scald, you should soak this. Thank you. No burns loud. Thank you, Malmar. Thank you, Malmar. So that's big time. That's big time. So I could Feather Dance him again. I could, but this time I want to just set up a tail. How many turns are left in there? Two. What's my best play here? What's my best play here? Because how many turns are left in their tailwind? They have, duh, 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 I think one, right? One, correct. So I mean, just go for rock slide and set up tailwind for the rest of my squad. He's a spiky shield, okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad, because now I get off this tailwind, which is gorgeous. I don't mind that. And let's see who Suicune goes after. Probably Malamar, most likely, right? Yeah. So that's fine that you KO Malmar. Malmar gets off a little bit of value, but now I get to bring out Fluttermane, Booster Energy, my special attack up in the Tailwind, and on top of that, just start throwing dives and gleams, right? I know they have Fluttermane in the back end. I know they have Fluttermane in the back end, but now it's time to just go all out on the attack field, right? Because the Dazzling Gleam will finish off that Ogre Pond, no problem. If we are able to KO this, uh, this Suicune without a setting up a Tailwind, we're sitting in such a good spot. Considering I have Shadow Ball to deal with that Fluttermane. That's going to be really good for us because I know it can't Thrastalize now that Ogre Pond put the mask on. So now we're going to hit this Terra button. We're going to smack up on Dazzle and Gleam. Ogre Pond, no way he survived that. And on top of this, do we taunt the Suicune here just so it can't set up a Tailwind? Yes. Yes. Yes, you know what? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to force it to just not even be able to set up a Tailwind. That's my play all day. All day long. All day long. Yeah, yeah. So I believe you can still taunt in our focus Pokemon. I'm almost positive if you can. You just can't fake him out. Taunt still works on the inner focus, guys. The Spiky Shield tries to come out from Ogre Pond. I was surprised they did that last turn. 
and Taunt does come out on this weekend. So we're hoping this thing's trying to set up a Tailwind, which I think it most likely would. And Dazzling's going to get cooked. So Dazzling going to take out the Ogre Pond. It's going to chuck up some nice damage on Suicune. Beautiful. Suicune does have high special defense. But again, if he's going for Tailwind here, this could be solid. This could be solid for us. Go for Tailwind. Go for Tailwind. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Micro. Cool. So this thing's gonna get some leftovers. Our main threat now is going to be this Fluttermane. So this Fluttermane has got to go. He can't terrestrialize. He might protect this turn. He definitely might protect this turn. But in this case, I don't mind just attacking it with Shadow Ball and looking to KO it. I don't mind actually double down into it. But you know what? One of these are gonna KO it. So, you know what? We're going Shadow Ball. We're going Shadow Ball and we're just gonna go Foul Pite in this weekend. Again, Fluttermane might protect. If it does, it does. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, it does. Okay. I wasn't going to make not make the read there. Or I wasn't going to make the read there. There's just no point because Suicune's not that big of a damaging Pokemon. So I don't really see it just picking up KOs, right? I don't, I don't see it dumping on my Pokemon. So Foul Play doing negative six damage. Snarl comes out here. Now it's looking a little scarier than normal. And I might double down in the Fluttermane. Yeah, we have to double down in the Fluttermane. Double down in the Fluttermane right now. Right now, attack that thing. Right now, double down into that. I swear, if you land a double protect and get off another Snarl, we're going to have a little bit of an issue. Just a little bit of an issue. But Shadow Ball going to go in this slot. And on top of that, just Foul Play into Fluttermane. And look to get rid of it. This is just in case Shadow Ball doesn't KO. So Shadow Ball cooking. It does not. Foul Play, get her done. Bruh, stop. Stop. We don't pick up KO on that Fluttermane? That's a little absurd. That's a little absurd. That's a little absurd. Now minus two. That's not looking good. That's a gleam of KO the Fluttermane all day now. How many turns are left in our Tailwind? Our Tailwind's gone. I still think we probably outspeed. Do I set up a Tailwind just in case? Yes. Yeah, we definitely have to set up a Tailwind just in case. Fluttermane's going to protect. Um, huh. We're going to get off the Tailwind. They might go Tailwind for Tailwind here. Maybe I should have just taunted him that time, but still. Dazzling Gleam's going to be cooking. And how much damage is this doing to Sweet King? It's a crit. That's a massive crit. That's a massive crit. The Snarl comes out here and I soak. And they don't have Tailwind up now. So as long as I land this Daz and Gleam, we win. I'm minus three. Actually, Suicune might survive here and I'll be very upset. I'll be very upset. Because Mercury dies to this burn. This random burn that it got. And we'll go from there. I'm surprised it kind of didn't set up a Tailwind there. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready, I'm ready to KO here. I'm ready to KO. I'm ready to win this match. I'm ready to win this match. Please! Please pick up the chaos. I know it's going to KO the Fluttermane all day. Is this Suicune? I don't know. The Dazzling Gleam cooking. Double KO for the win. We need to land one more. Actually, dude, if he gets leftovers here and protects next turn, it's tough. Can we soak this? Do not burn me. Bro, I don't know. He doesn't have first turn priority. Do we think he has protect? Oh my lord, this is coming down to it. So we're gonna gleam again. Their strongest move. And that should win it. That should win it. What a match? What a match. Game over? Game over. Oh my lord. This match was insane. GG's to our opponent. We're one and one. Solid set of matches here. Let's go hop into our third. Look for that winning record. What a win there in match number two. Coming down to the wire, but Flutter main cushion up. Pretty crazy matchup. We're in our third and final match, sitting at 1-1, one one, going up against a big-time attacker with Reggie Gigas. They also have Weezing just to pop the neutralizing gas and to get after it. Okay, how are we going to play this one? Who are we going to go into? I mm, I was going to say, I kind of want to go into Malamar again, but if they're going to neutralize and gas, that's a little bit of a problem for us, right? Definitely a little bit of a problem because we don't get our abilities. And Pokemon without the abilities, who's going to be strong? Metagross, not bad. Murkrow's still not bad. I don't mind the Feather Dance. Still, it's kind of fast. It won't have its Prankster, but 
I kind of like it. So I'm going to go Murkrow, and I'm going to go in with Metagross here. Two Pokemon that I actually really, really like. I'm going to bring Malamar as a late game back end Pokemon. Actually, probably not. You got a lot of fairy type Pokemon. Malamar, I'm sorry. You're not you're not coming in here. So I'm going to go into Fluttermane and Ogre. That's something I like a bit more. That's definitely something I like a bit more. I wanted to use Malamar here in the final match, but just the way it's looking, Enamorous, Cresselia, Whimsicott, just Pokemon that are just going to rip up into them, Rock and Fairy moves at all times. So, not like it. Not like that. So, I think we showcased Malamar pretty solid in match number one and in match number two. Showcase the power of it. But let's see who they end up leading here and how we're going to play this one. Because, again, I would love to grab ourselves a 2 1 winning record and just get tearing it up. I think a Weezing alongside with Reggie Yegas. Okay. So, I got Murkrow out here. I could Feather Dance turn one, which wouldn't be too bad. You're probably rocking EQ with Levitate. So, I might just want to Thrasalize you and start throwing Psychic Fangs maybe into the Weezing. That might be my best bet. And then just Feather Dance this thing. Put it minus two. Yeah. Super cool with that. Super, super cool with that. Super cool with that. Because I can definitely see an EQ going after my Metagross here. Not trying to deal with that. So, I'm going to Thrasalize straight into Fairy here. Getting after it. And we'll see how they want to counter that. All right, come on. Pick a move. Stop thinking. You're not going to protect that Weezing. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. You're not allowed to protect that Weezing. It's as simple as that. But I just want to do the, uh, the Psychic Fangs. I love the animations. Like Chomp Chomp with like just a bunch of fangs. I think it just looks so cool. I actually want to dump on this Weezing. Get rid of the neutralized gases. Just give me my abilities back. Is a protecting the Gagas. They might want to try to throw a burn onto me. That might be his play. Yeah, look at you. Look at you trying to burn me. I'm dodging that all day. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around because now I go for Feather Dance here. Maybe I should have went for Tailwind that turn. But hey, I don't mind this because Psychic Fangs is coming in hot. Weezing, get on out my face. Neutralizing Gas is gone. Reg Gagas back to its ability. I get my abilities back. Get on out here. Trying to burn me. Trying to burn me. I was burned last game. I'm not trying, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing with that. So Reg Gagas now back to its normal stats. Probably should just protect the reason. But he didn't. He's a coward. Love it. Love it. Okay, cool. So now we're sitting here, back choosing the psychic fangs. I might want to just hard swap you. Maybe into Ogre Pond at this point. I'm trying to think a little bit. I could feather dance the Gigas. Um I could set up a tailwind. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up a tailwind. I'm just gonna just keep chomping the psychic fangs here. I'm just gonna keep chopping Psychic Fangs because it could swap the Benji Gagas. I have an odd feeling they're gonna cancel battle, but no, they just protect the Enamor, so pretty smart turn. I mean, I get off the Tailwind. Benji Gagas, what are you going for though? Do you for some reason have a steel move? I'd be kind of upset if you do. I'd be real upset if you do. But he's getting Feather Dance next turn. I'm just. It's just not happening, right? We're putting a minus two. He has Crush Grip. Still doing some nice damage. He is Orbed. He is orb. So from here, sticking with the psychic fangs. We're gonna now pop this feather dance into him and drop his attack to minus two. Minus two, yo, feather dance is such a good move. Like charm with Wimscott. You hit it on a physical attacker, it just ruins the day, right? It just ruins the day. But I'm actually curious. Say say someone has neutralizing gas on the field. And I have Metagrass. Metagross, not Metagrass. Say, say I have Metagross, and they lower my stats, and then I take out the Weezing and take off Neutralizing Gas, uh, Neutralizing Gas, and Clear Body comes back. Do those stat changes stay there, or do they just disappear? I've actually never seen that instance. But they're going to Stellar Terror type. They're just going to look to get rid of my, what's it called? My Metagross here. But Metagross is going to do a massive amount of damage with the choice of ban. Just <laughs> ripping into that Enamorous, wasting a Stellar Terror type. And we're sitting in a really good position to just win this match. We grab ourselves a beautiful winning record. Crush Grip comes out here. Doing not that much damage because now he's minus two. And that's pretty much game. They're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It's going to be Sinisha. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. This, is, this one's over. This one is over. So from here, I'm just going to Psychic Fangs again. Just keep targeting down that. And guess what I'm going to do here? I'm going to Feather Dance again. I think they cancel that. I cancel match. Yep, there it is. 2-1 winning record for you guys. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Using contrary Malamar on the rank ladder today. Going 2-1 and, and grabbing ourselves a winning record up against some very cool teams. First match, 
we lost that one pretty tough on Malmore's part but he still actually did pretty solid in that matchup match number two came down to the wire with flutter main and then match number three was just complete domination from choice ban metagross but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody